Hello KTV viewers, on behalf of Konkani TV Canada, I take the stage to interview Canada's child prodigy of chess, candidate master Aaron Reed Mendes, who recently went on to win the fourth annual Chess Kid Youth Speed Chess Championship and has been coveted the prestigious title of champion in the fourth chess kid. This tournament commenced on June 2023 and brought together the world's top eight young chess prodigies. They engaged in intense one-on-one -on -one encounters using a variety of blitz, including 75 minutes of five plus one and 45 minutes of three plus one. Aaron competed against another strong chess prodigy, champion Anthony Radzwitski of Poland in the gripping finals. So first and foremost, Aaron, I take this opportunity to congratulate you on this winning and I wish you success in the future that you may accomplish your goals. So let's get started with our question and answers. Sure. Are you prepared? Sure. Okay. So what do you think as a 11 years old that this championship has brought you? Like, did you give you a sense of achievement that you have achieved your goals? Um, I think this tournament has given me a lot of satisfaction and happiness and relieving a lot of pressure. And can you walk us through your experience during the final match of the tournament? What was going through your mind? Um, during my final match, I definitely had a lot of pressure since the stakes were high and I definitely wanted to win. So I try to be my normal self and play uh, so what do you think was the key to your success in this tournament? Uh, any specific strategies or preparations that helped pay off during the course of your tournament and any challenging moments that you might have felt was uh, making you feel that the victory is slipping away from you? Um, I think the key moments for um, my practice was especially in the summer because that's the time where nobody can slack up mm -hmm. and the times when I felt my victory slipping away was mostly against FM Oro Fustino because mm -hmm. it's not in it never goes in one direction it keeps splitting up so it's really hard to know who's winning or what's going on so then uh, were you like going back and thinking okay is this is the strategy he's playing should I use a different strategy is that what was going on in your mind like after you went through the the tournament like you know when you when you play somebody who's that intellectually bright and then you feel that maybe it's slipping away and then what could i have done better so that i get better at the next match um no i was trying to just become mm -hmm. rather than change my strategy i was trying to become that's good. That's uh, so you were focused on what you wanted to get. Right? Yes. Okay. Winning a championship requires a lot of hard work and dedication. Can you tell us about your training routine and how you prepare for these tournaments? Um, I wake up early in the morning and have an hour of a chess class, and then I go to school. After I return from school, I do two to three hours of chess, and I try to maintain the same routine for the past two years. So that's your regime, right? Every yeah. day you get up. Yeah. So what time approximately get up? Around 6.30. 6.30. And which school do you go to? I go to St. Barbara. I'm really happy I go to that school because now it's because of the school that I can take leaves and play more chess tournaments. So they, I think they also feel a sense of pride that one of their students is going on to achieve such uh, victories, right? Yeah. So it's a proud moment for the school. Their name also is there in the limelight. Yeah. That's good. So do you have any chess idols or players uh, you look up for inspiration? And if so, who are they and why do you admire them? Um, my favorite player is Vishwanathan Anand. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite player because he's just a great player and a great person overall. Mm -hmm. And one more reason is because I got the chance to talk to him. When wow. I was very young, so I admire him a lot. You had a personal interaction with him? 
How was it? Um, it was on the phone. And what what was it? What was he telling you that inspired you so much? Like, did he give you some motivational talk or something like that? Yeah. Um, he told me to keep chasing after my goals. Very good. So that's that's stuck onto you, right? Yes. What's your favorite chess piece, and why is there a specific opening or move that you enjoy using the most? So I have this chess board. This is your Lucky Charm chess board. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what 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 is the favorite piece in this? Um, my favorite piece is my knight. Knight. Yes. Okay. It's because it's very useful and tricky in all parts of the game. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a lot of forks that could happen. Okay, I don't know whether viewers can see. This is his Lucky Charm chess board. Okay. Um, chess is not just about winning, it's also about learning. What lessons have you taken away from this tournament uh, that will help you in your future games? I learned that no matter what the result, you should always be calm. I never take too much pressure. Just play it because you love it. You love it. So that's your passion, right? Yes. And you're playing it out of passion as yes. well. Uh, what are your future goals in chess? Any upcoming tournaments or milestones you are looking forward to achieving? My future goals are to become a grandmaster and a world champion. And uh, for upcoming tournaments, I think my next tournament is in October in Egypt. Mm -hmm. It's a World Cadet Chess Championships. Wow. So you'll be traveling to Egypt to play? Yes. And how long approximately that tournament lasts? Around 10-15 days. 10. So you'll be all the 10-15 days there? Yeah. And okay. it's like under 12. What would you want to tell, you know, children your age, like if they are focused on, you know, attaining something in their lives in terms of sports? Um, always chase after your goals mm -hmm. and never forget your true desire. Very good. Uh, and do you have any other sports besides chess that you are passionate about and you play during your extra hours? Um, in school, I always like to play dodgeball, but at home, I don't play anything. Okay, so chess is, yeah, because that's yeah. that's your, you're dreaming chess, you're eating chess, you're playing <laughs> chess, correct? Pretty okay. Much, yeah. So finally, how did you celebrate your victory? Um, immediately following after this tournament, I had a classical tournament. Uh, switching classical from, tournament? Yeah, okay. Okay. switching from 3 plus 2 to 9 plus 30. And that tournament consisted of four champs, okay. and I played them all. Okay. It's tricky, and I didn't get a lot of time to celebrate. So, uh, do you have like uh, you have tutors or trainers who help you with your who help you uh, playing your strategy and your games? Yes, I'm lucky to have a number of tutors mm -hmm. from all over the world, from India, Canada. Mm -hmm. I'm a really lucky person. Very good. So thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to take your interview and we're pleasurable to interview you because you are the next going to be the next grandmaster, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you and all the best in your future goals. Thank you. Yeah.